Welcome everybody to Mo Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Super Gut, the gut balancing chocolate shake with resistant starch. This is a product review. A few weeks ago, I made a video about constipation and the fiber I was using to prevent it. Here is a short clip from that video. The future. Right now I use two of Jarl's bioacid factors, one in the morning and one in the evening away from food and either Citrocell or Benefiber for the bulk fiber I need. But I plan on replacing the fiber supplements with a new product from a company that used to be called Munique and now it's called Supergut. This new shake features 20 grams of resistant starch from green bananas and oatmeal. This should give me additional butyrate. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Modern Health Span. In a series of video, Richard talks about the many resistant starch benefits with Chris Damon from the University of Washington. There were several episodes and most if not all of them were talking about the different things that resistant starch could do for us, such as lowering blood glucose, raising HbA1c, weight loss, and producing butyrate for additional energy. The fiber I was using were Citrocell and to some extent Benefiber. Neither of these fibers could boast any of the features, so I decided to try Supergut to see how I would do. Supergut is a very good company. The website has a very easy to use shopping cart and the information about the fiber was easy to understand. They give you a substantial discount if you sign up for a monthly charge of $99, which is what I did. The product arrived promptly in a very attractive package that made me think they had too many MBAs working on their marketing. The website recommended starting off with a half dose or one scoop until my system adjusted to the change. Otherwise, I could experience bloating and gas. So this is what I did. After a few days without experiencing any problems, I began to use two scoops a day, which is the normal daily serving. Taste. Supergut offers several different flavors like vanilla and strawberry shakes, but I chose chocolate shakes. I used water to mix the shakes and it would have tasted better if I had used milk. Still, the taste was okay. Everything went well for about three weeks. And then all of a sudden I began to notice a lot of inflammation. My knees began to ache and then my back and thumbs started to get sore. I was sure that many other people had experienced this and maybe the company had a workaround. But when I contacted them, they told me that they did not know about this side effect and that I should contact my doctor to find out why my knees ache. When I left the site, I thought I was maybe allergic to something in the product. Then I found this video on YouTube. This is a video from Steve at Sirius Keto. He's made many, many videos about resistant starch and he seems to be much more knowledgeable about this subject than me. And here's the part of the video that really bothered me. The final personal discovery that I made this week is that I am absolutely dealing with some inflammation right now. And I've gone a long time without inflammation until I did that rice test last month and then this potato test this past week. My knees feel not good in a way that they've not felt in over a year. I've also got a little bit of inflammation in my elbows, shoulders, and I was feeling it a bit in my knuckles. So whether that's coincidental, I, I don't think it is, but that's something to bear in mind as well. So when it comes right down to it, Supergut should have known about, that their product would cause inflammation in some of their customers. I know that most people will not be bothered by this product, but I certainly was. Everything about Supergut was so well done. They must have known that this product problem existed. So I have to reluctantly give this potentially valuable product a thumbs down. I plan to do several other videos about weight loss, so please subscribe to Morat Nation. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching.